The Tasmanian Liberals have showed a united front as the new Premier looks to put the leadership contest behind him. Andrea Crothers is at State Parliament in Hobart. Andrea, Peter Goodwine has used his first full day in the job to talk up the state's economy. That's right, Charlotte. Certainly a place where he feels most comfortable after handling the state's books for the last six years. And that's today exactly what he was talking about, the state's economic growth. Now, they all are also trying to dispel any leadership tensions or murmurs around that that may be going around after that leadership battle yesterday. Now, of course, Peter Gutwin was elected as Liberal leader and Premier uncontested after his contender or opponent Michael Ferguson pulled out. Also pulling out with Michael Ferguson was Elise Archer, who was running as his deputy for the running mate for that contest. Now, today they conveniently chose the spot of a construction site to talk up the state's economy, allowing Elise Archer, who is also the construction minister, to come along and put on a bit of a face to show that they are a all one big happy family. Here's what she had to say. It's important uh, that we work through a process. It's highly democratic. Our party is one where we've, we're always strong and united. Uh, as has been said, we, we like each other. Uh, unlike the Labor Party, uh, our, our party is, is, is strong and united. I think Tasmanians uh, know that about us. Uh, we uh, don't often take time to reflect on ourselves. Now, we are expecting a cabinet reshuffle, although the Premier says that that will be minor. He hopes to have the new cabinet sworn in by Friday. So far, the only person we know safe in their current position is the Deputy Premier, Jeremy Rockliffe. He'll remain as Education and Training Minister, as well as Mental Health and Wellbeing. The Premier has indicated that he would like to stay on as Treasurer alongside his role as Premier, but as for the rest of the positions, well, they're all up for grabs. Now, he was asked about whether he would actually be interested in having a climate change change minister. This being because Peter Gutwin outlined three main priorities of change he would like to see as Premier, that being around health, housing as well as climate change. Now and put that question to Premier Peter Gutwin, here's what he had to say. Look, I'm not going to um, speculate on uh, how, what the ministry will look like. I'm working through that. Jay. Now, Peter Gutwin was also asked about his relationship with Scott Morrison. It has been a little bit rocky in the past, and we obviously know that Will Hodgman got along very well with the PM. Here's what Peter Gutman, Gutwin says of that relationship. Scott is a very frank uh, person. Um, you know, he'll take positions um, very clearly. Uh, I've always enjoyed my working relationship with Scott. You always know where you stand, uh, and I'm sure um, that uh, he'll understand where we are as a state as well. Now, Peter Gutwin is the first northern-based Premier here in Tasmania in almost 40 years, so he's definitely got a big job ahead of him as he battles to make sure he appease, appeases everyone up in the north there whilst also looking after the south here where Parliament is and, of course, a lot of the population base of Tasmania. So today, in his first uh, day in those shoes as Premier, he started off in Hobart and is currently on his way to Launceston to have some other meetings there.